will be cooler when we found a park up. Sand is a bit of a problem. Okay, campus, epic fail, no parking. Are we going to find Baja Beauty? We've already used our waffle boards twice. Bad idea. We were trying to say hi, but the sand has stuck us. <laughs> Good morning. Actually, it's pretty well afternoon. We have had most fabulous uh, time here. We've been here for a few days up in the mountains here in Baja at this wonderful, wonderful stop. But this morning we're leaving this secluded location. We're gonna start exploring Baja and we are heading to the town of Los Barrilos. That's it and the drive Back down the dirt road for the next 20 miles continues. I can't believe we're leaving <laughs> paradise. I oh. absolutely loved it up in the mountains, the cool air. Um, it's just been lovely. And Isabel and Clarence are just such fantastic hosts. And who knew there is a mountain paradise with a beach? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Down the dirt road we go. Just coming over the brow of the hill here, you can see the uh, the sea in the distance, the landscape's opening up, we're nearly uh, out of the mountains. Fantastic place. Oh, come on, that rock's lovely. If you, uh, if you do come to Baja, don't, uh, don't skip some of these mountain drives because they are really, really beautiful. There's Clarence. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. It was wonderful having you guys. We're going to be back. We're coming back. We Guaranteed. Love you. you have a perfect piece of paradise. Thank you very much. Good news. We made it back to the main road. <laughs> we got about uh, about 25 minutes now to the next town. This is where the uh, river we were, were paddling in up in the mountains comes out and uh, just a little bit of water down here. But yeah, it's hard to imagine that all flowing in the rainy season. Wow, so we just, Join the coastal road and uh, that is the town where we're going just in the distance there you can see it beautiful beach and blue waters I'm excited okay so we're turning off the road and we're heading into the town we'll see if we can find a uh, supermarket to get some food Hola. he's lost a wheel I think Okay, so we found a little supermarket and uh, we're just gonna go and do a little shop. Okay, first mistake, we forgot to get masks because you still need to wear masks here for some reason. They've obviously reintroduced them. Shopping done, but here's a little tip. They only took cash. So it was a good job. I went out and went to the cash point while uh, Marianne was buying the shopping, but the store, we got to the front of the uh, the queue and they were like, it's cash only. So definitely make sure you got enough cash with you. Because it's evening time now, late afternoon. We haven't had lunch yet. We, uh, we're just stopping in this eatery for a quick bit of lunch before we uh, find somewhere to park for the night. Marianne's got a, Hibiscus. Hibiscus. So I'm going to have very pink lips by the end of this <laughs> Check out the walls in this restaurant. They're actually made out of cactus. Right, there we go. A nice bit of guacamole to start. All those years of making guacamole wrong. The stuff over here is delicious. Bit of onion, bit of tomato, soft, soft avocados. Mm. Coriander. And I like a little bit of chili in mine. It's good, it's really good. Okay, so I got three tostados. We got some cabbage, 
some salsa, some cucumbers, and, and some this sauce is very spicy, I think. That will blow your head off. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> Lime. Nice. Oh, yeah. That looks absolutely amazing. Now, I put some. Um, lime juice on it i'm not doing the hot sauce because i might die bit of ash is there a, is there a proper way to eat these no just open wide and bite oh yeah mm. that chicken is delicious like barbecuey roasty flavor you know when you go to the rotisseries and it's got that really so juicy mm. i don't know how you're supposed to eat this I'm not sure that's the way. I think you just hold it flat, don't you? You don't bend it. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. This one's beef, and it's got like a crispy taco on the bottom as a base. Really, really flavoursome, smoky meat. Chris and I have decided that we need to do a food tour of Mexico because we don't know this kind of cuisine. And um, I think there's a lot to learn, but it's all very tasty. Where does the day go? It is actually half past five. That's a bit of a crazy late lunch for us, but it took us a while to get down that dirt road over the mountain. We're now gonna drive through town uh, to the other side. We found a couple of spots uh, on my overlander that we think we should be able to park. The sun is going down already. It looks a nice town, lots of different restaurants and bars. It's a busy one there, the smokehouse. It's got a nice cool sort of beach vibe though, isn't it? got a very cool vibe. It will be cooler when we found a park up. There's a cow walking down the pavement. As you do. As you do. I love that. <laughs> okay, so we've come through town now. We're just coming out the other side. More cows wandering down the road there. This is the riverbed we drove over earlier in the day. Uh, this would be, in rainy season, uh, lots of water down here. But at the moment, it's all good. So we're just going to try the side road down here. We've just got to be very careful it doesn't get too loose on the sand front. Well, if we sink, we're staying. Set up proper camp there, aren't they? Oh, we're back on the main road again. Yeah. We've done a big, big loop round. There's, uh, there's quite a few down by the seafront, but it's not, uh, it's not that image of finding a quiet spot by the beach that you normally get. So I think we'll go round again. Okay, so we've done a, we've done another loop round. Just couldn't find anywhere that was solid enough that was, uh, wasn't right next to a van. So we're going to drive a bit further down the beach. Um, not ideal because it is actually getting dark now so we're still going the uh the sand is a bit of a problem the dirt is a bit of a problem we're not having the best luck now and uh rookie mistake we should really find somewhere before it gets dark because it won't be long and uh we still haven't managed to succeed at the moment but we're just going to go down here for another half a mile and then if not we'll have to start heading back towards town there's not anywhere to pull off at the moment. Okay, campus, epic fail. We're, uh, we're gonna try and go back towards town. So as you know, normally we don't drive in the dark because you can't see animals on the road. You can't see rocks on the road or loose sand. Just past two cyclists, a cow in the road and a couple more speed bumps. And they're throwing at us tonight. Another right there, does that go anywhere? No parking. No, there's a no. gate. Okay. Another epic fail. Okay, that's the third wrong turn. <laughs> Flip the neck. Turn right and then take the first right. That's it, follow it round to the right. So this is actually smack in town and um, 
should be okay. Yeah. Trudy sounds very rattly. She's very rattly. So there you go, guys. The back of the town. Little park, little parking lot. And there's Trudy. I think that'll do for the night. Which makes it the perfect time to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. So if you don't know what a VPN is, it basically stands for Virtual Private Network. It creates an encrypted tunnel which keeps you and your data safe whilst you're surfing online. Which is particularly important if you use public Wi-Fi like we do so often whilst we're on the road. It's like having your own online security guard. But there's more to Surfshark than just online security. Have you ever travelled to another country only to realise that you can't carry on watching the show you were watching whilst you were back home? Or even worse, your kids can't! But with Surfshark, by simply changing your virtual location, your computer thinks it's somewhere completely different in the world, which unlocks content that wouldn't normally be available to you. And Surfshark is the only VPN company that allows use on an unlimited number of devices at the same time, which means you keep the whole family happy. And the very kind people at Surfshark have offered Tread the Globe followers a very special discount you get a whopping 83% discount plus three months free. To get started, click the link in the description below and use the code TREADTHEGLOBE. Back to the show. Well, after that bit of an epic fail looking for a beach spot last night, we had a, a, a night's sleep here in this car park. It was a little bit noisy. There was a few dogs barking in the middle of the night. Oh my goodness. But uh, today we determined to go and uh, find that Baja beach dream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave here and head down the coastline. We're stocked up on food, we've got water, we've got everything we need. So we're gonna go on a little road trip down the Baja coastline. Right, you ready, baby? I'm ready. I'm just remarking on how much dust we've got inside already. There is a massive amount of dust. Look, 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 <laughs> look, look. Cleaning Trudy was pointless. It was absolutely pointless. Although it did tell us that we were never going to get our vehicle clean enough to get into Australia. I think that's what we determined. We got the... Uh, We've got Google Maps programmed whilst we have internet signal because as soon as we leave town we've run out of uh, internet and uh, I think most of it's probably going to be on a dirt road today but we'll see. Are we going to find Baja Beauty? On a beach. We've already found it in a mountain, let's find it in a beach. We're going south. So Los Barrios has been a, a very touristy location, loads of ATVs, people coming down from the States for their holiday but we're looking for a little bit more of a quieter space. We like to try if possible, and I know Baja is touristy, but to get a little bit off the main tourist route if we can. This is the uh, little town of Santa Cruz, and uh, got a lovely feel, nice palm trees down the middle of the road, a lovely little church there. Oh, look at the bell up in the bell. I know, that's that just very... iconic, isn't it? The that's way they do that. With the rope hanging down. That's great. Watch out for these bumps because they are pretty big in the road and they sometimes just spring up on you when least expected. We've had a couple of Dukes of Hazard moments there. <laughs> I still can't get over the size of these cactus. I like trees. Massive. I never expected Baja to be uh, so mountainous, but literally from the north all the way down to the south, this mountain range has been in the middle of the peninsula and we're still following it now. The road just stopped. Let's just have a look. Uh, you'll be all right. Just go that that way a bit. There's a big hole in the road. <laughs> it just happened. The the road just okay, the dirt road started. 
There you go, you're good. You're good. I'm jumping in. Well, that took us a bit by surprise. Well, we just went over a hill and it just stopped and there was a great big dip right at the beginning. I couldn't see how deep it was. Oh, I just came to a screeching halt. Let the dirt road start. And uh, I think it's going to be like this all the way to Cabo. There is a road that goes inland if you want to avoid the dirt road, but this is, if you want to see the beautiful beach and get that Baja beach moment, this is the road that you have to do. And I've heard there's a lot of washboards and uh, a little sand in places. So we'll just take it slowly. I can feel my double chin wobbling. <laughs> and the washboard roads start almost immediately. We've heard as well that in some countries they're called corrugated roads. I don't know if that's the same in your country. Let us know what you would call it. We call them washboards. Already, I can feel the dust in my nose. Welcome to Cabo Pulmo. So uh, th this area is actually uh, a national park, a marine park, I think. And there's uh, a big sign there showing rays jumping and breaching out of the water, which I hope we can see. A lot of people on Iovlander have said when they were parked by the beach, they saw whales breaching and things. So uh, we might be in for an interesting, uh, an interesting few days. Whatever Google tells you, somewhere it's just half an hour down the road or an hour down the road, double it. Because <laughs> they they probably plan for you to drive 60 miles an hour on these roads, which you've got no chance in a two-wheel drive. Okay, that's the site that I'm looking for. Look at that long white sand beach and blue water. Oh, that is why I quit my job. Look at that. That's better. That is definitely better than sitting in my old office. Are you telling me you quit your job to <laughs> bum on a beach? I'd like to bum on a beach. That's what we're trying to find. Just coming over the uh, brow of the hill, we've seen uh, the park up with some bigger rigs down there. They're not stuck in the sand and there's beautiful blue water. So I'm thinking that looks a good place to stay. Drive down this end of it, I think. So, this is quite solid. Oh, feel that air. Yeah, it's soft there. That looks a bit too soft. Wow, look at the colour of that water. It's a bit soft here, I would say. Let's have a look, have a look down there. We've literally arrived and we've put the Jackery solar panels out and I've just noticed there are whales. So I've shouted at Chris to go and get his big camera and see if we can zoom and I just saw a big flipper do that and I saw pshh. I can hear people screaming. Right, they're just over there in front of that big hill. There they are, they're just literally breaching. What a fantastic spot. This is what we're looking for. Beautiful blue sea, pebbles and beach in the distance. A few of the vans and RVs and stuff parked here. Little Trudy is there on the harder ground because we don't want to get stuck. There's another, uh, there's a Swiss vehicle there. This is what Baja is about. This is what we were looking for. Madame? <laughs> Monsieur? <laughs> we figured out that we're only probably five, ten minutes walk from the uh, the nearby town. So uh, we thought we'd go and see if there's somewhere to grab some lunch. Wow, how amazing is the colour of that water. And uh, it's super windy. It's been uh, windy since we've been here. This, uh, this whole coastline here down Baja is, uh, is known for its crazy wind but it's warm, so it doesn't matter. Still got the shorts and t-shirt on, which is not bad for the hot, the high time of winter everywhere else. Uh, 
We can see just down the uh, the end here, this is where the town is. It's actually quite hard walking on these pebbles. I think I think it would have been easier to take our shoes off and walk in the water. We're nearly there. Okay, we think this is a little road that will lead up to the town. There you go, this is the uh, this is the main road through the town because uh, it's a marine park, there's lots of uh, dive schools dotted around. For those of you that have been following us a while, you know we love scuba diving, but Chris here has a heart murmur, um, an irregular heartbeat, arrhythmia. Anybody else got that? So uh, I have to go and have an annual doctor's checkup to make sure I'm safe to, to dive. Um, but I haven't had one for a year, so I can't actually go diving. Oh, I'm loving the palm trees and blue sky. Oh, this looks like hopeful to get a bit of food maybe down here. This is what we're talking about. Look at this for a place. It's hard to believe this is just literally a few minutes walk, a few minutes walk from where we're parked up for the night. You can see the reef out there. That's fantastic. Okay, we spotted this restaurant on the water side. It looks pretty good to me. That'll do, won't it? Jackpot. Managed to get a table for two, right next to the blue sea there. Good job, love. Standard in Mexico, guacamole, salsa and chips. <laughs> beautifully presented with a beautiful view. We've got it all going on. Another staple here in Baja, fried fish tacos. I just absolutely love them. We've got some different spices there. We've got a green chili, a red chili, some salsa. Marianne's got chicken tacos with like a slaw with red cabbage so that was going to be really crunchy i'm not sure about these are they going to be hot i don't know you could try them marianne i, I don't know because you don't I, like spicy food so no, you... but i have seen some of these green chilies aren't actually that hot <laughs> no and i got some crunchy fish mm. light batter Soft tacos, beautiful view, nice company, life's good. I was going to say, <laughs> am I the beautiful view? <laughs> of course, Marianne. Delicious lunch. I was saying to Chris that <clears throat> all the Walmarts, the Cabela's, the Cracker Barrels, yeah. parking on the side of the street, <laughs> all of that, all of those not so great experiences for park ups and sleep ups, it's just washed away. All of it gone. It's all gone. This is what this we're is doing white, it for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's early evening now and uh, being parked up on this wonderful beach. We've got this rock, this sort of hill in the distance here. And we thought we'd go and see if it's possible to walk up to the top because I think it should give a pretty nice view. This side of Baja is proper windy. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry if the audio is a bit dodge. We're nearly there. But this view is fantastic. Looking back towards the town and where Trudy's part. We were just saying that there's little special places that we've fallen in love with and left a little bit of our heart in. And this is one of them. We've loved Cabo Palmo. It's really special. I think it's because it's quite tricky to get to, so it's quite a small community of people that are just working and living here. It's funny how the hill actually looks so much smaller from here. What a view, baby! This is amazing. A bit loose on the foot, isn't it? We're nearly at the top. 
for those epic views. Oh my goodness. Well, the wind's strong now. Look at this. We're on top of the world. <laughs> that is amazing. Look. So we're ending the day at the perfect restaurant, tacos and beer. <laughs> well, I reckon that's a pretty nice spot for dinner, love. What do you reckon? I think I've just hit paradise. <laughs> We've had a fantastic time parked up on this beach. But today we're gonna to be heading down the coastline. We're going to San Jose del Cabo, which is a couple of hours south of here. We spoke to our friends, uh, Drew and Brittany, Mr. and Mrs. Adventure, who said this was one of their most favorite roads in the whole of Baja. So we have to stick to the dirt road on the coast. So that's what we're doing. We absolutely love the road that was from Cabo Pumo down to San Jose del Cabo. And it's so remote with views yeah. around every bend. And the first challenge is to make sure we can get Trudy out without getting stuck in the rocks because we've already used our waffle boards twice to rescue people on this beach. Keep going, keep going. That's a soft bit. Yeah, you're fine now, you're fine. So, okay. which way are we going? So we're going left left and then it's just straight down the coast we looked online this uh some of this road hasn't been mapped by google maps because it looks a bit sandy and some people said it's uh it was a bit too sandy for their van but i think from speaking to drew and Brittany that we should be we should be good if you take it easy and slow it's kind of washboardy and has a lot of dust but you guys will you guys are expert drivers i mean heck Aww. we drove to the furthest north canadian road in the planet. <laughs> Started. Two hours of washboard roads, people. Okay, don't stop. That's I think that's the moral of this road. Just don't stop because it is very sandy. This might actually take a while because we can't get above 10, 15 miles an hour. <laughs> this is a bad idea again. <laughs> we probably could go faster than 10 miles an hour, but vehicle preservation is telling me don't do it. Yes, we have lowered our tire pressure a little bit. Just come over the brow of this hill. There's another lovely beach and uh, this riverbed, which is dry at the moment, has uh, got loads of people that. that are uh, camping out on the... on the. Uh, that's Drive the Globe. Oh, it is Drive the Globe. Let's say hi. There's this uh, orange overlanding truck that we've seen online, Drive the Globe. I don't know whether he's there. We'll go around the other side. Okay, bad idea. We were trying to say hi, but the sand has stuck us. <laughs> okay, so the plan is we're going to try and reverse back because there is nowhere to turn around. Good job. Okay, so far it's working. <laughs> Marianne's reversing back. Okay, we made it. Uh, we made it out. Not and uh, but he's not there he's not there he's he's away at the moment okay good driving marianne we're Woo! back on the main road <laughs> don't pull off again let's not do that i was just saying to chris i think we need to make sure we go to the overland show when we get back to the uk so if any of you are connected to that show i'd like some tickets please I think we them. i'm not sure how the overland show would uh, would would think when they see 
our uh, Trudy van, ice cream van, rocking up at the uh, at the Overland show. I can literally feel everything wobbling. It's obviously it looks like a farm. Hola. Hola. Like literally in the middle of nowhere. By a beach. By a beach. Oh, it's cows. Yeah, it's a farm. Oh, it's amazing. Morning, guys. How you doing? Ah, oh, good morning. Oh, the road's washed away here. Oh my goodness, Marianne. Don't yeah. We, don't go off the edge there. Don't want to get too close to that. <laughs> We still got another. I can't believe it. We're only halfway. And it said two hours. It's already been nearly two hours. We've spot a couple of surfers down here, and how about that for the perfect uh, park up view? If we hadn't run out of food and water, then uh, I'd be considering stopping here for the night. But yeah, beautiful spot. <laughs> There is a bit of tarmac just started. I'm not sure whether it's going to go on for long, but there is tarmac right here. Look at that. I'll take it. I'll take, take it. it. I'll just take it. I'll yes. Take it. <laughs> wow. One mile later, it stops. Why do they do a random bit of concrete? I don't know. Maybe maybe rich people live here and they fly over their helicopter and just go up and down that bit. And then it stopped. I just had to stop and show you this view. Look at that. That is everything that you expect when you have the vision of coming to Baja. White sand beaches, blue waters. Wow, isn't that amazing? This is amazing and it's between Nine Palms and La Fortuna and Nine Palms is where Drew and Brittany told us it's their favourite place and now I see why. This is epic! Wow, what a road! If you're wondering how all the uh, houses living off grid here get their water, that looks like the water trucks doing a delivery. <laughs> oh, hola! <laughs> what a big smile, lovely. There's a couple of monster holes in the road there. We've turned off, uh, the road suddenly turned into tarmac and it looks like we're on a a good road now all the way to uh, San Jose. So we finally managed to find somewhere to park up here in San Jose del Cabo, right in the heart of the city and walking distance to all the street food places, which we are very excited to go and film tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're in this little secure car park. So uh, we will see you next time. <laughs>